It's been a really long time since I've done a video, or it feels like a really long time anyway. This week has been crazy, hectic. I saved a house, I did a comedy show for the first time, and I went to a TED conference, which was really fun. I came home from school and like just three houses from my house before I was walking down to my house, there was a house on fire and I looked around and nobody was around and I didn't know what to do at first. I was like, I have to call 911 and I was like, is this house really on fire? It was kind of like a shock at first. So I ran down to my house because my landlord happened to be there and he came over and he helped put out a bit of the fire and I called um, 911 and everything and um, everybody was fine. It was only a small fire and on the side of their house but it was just kind of crazy and I didn't even realize what really happened afterwards. Like I talked to the firefighters and gave them my contact information and that I was the first one to have spotted the fire. It was kind of sinking in a little later when my landlord was saying to me, you saved the house and I was like, wow, I." I saved a house this week. Oh, it was crazy. The next day, I did my first comedy show, and I actually, to be honest, I backed out at first. Anyway, I got super nervous, and after I got off stage, um, the head guy who organizes the comedy event came up to me and showed him that he timed uh, my act, and it was like 2 minutes and 20 seconds, so I sped talk that hardcore. We were so encouraging, a lot of the comedians said that I just need to slow down, which makes sense. I did talk really fast, so... <laughs> and I talk pretty fast in general, which is something I need to make sure I'm taking my time, you know, um, and getting all my words out correctly, because sometimes I just fumble. And it was actually a pretty full night at the Villains, which was really surprising, because before when I went, it wasn't as packed as it was that night. And in a way it was good because I'm more comfortable in front of larger crowds because when there's like only a few people I tend to feel a bit more awkward especially when you know them so it was just nice that I only had one friend come because I think I would have been much more nervous if I knew half the crowd kind of thing. Anyway, it went really well so I'm going to keep uh, practicing and thinking of new stories to tell for my next co comedic act I guess. <laughs> Yesterday, which was Saturday, I went to a TED conference at the University of Windsor and some of the TED talks they did was on the, just online, but I really enjoyed the ones that were in person and, and that were live, the artists. He had some really good points of how a lot of people expect artists to do work for free and don't appreciate it as much as they should. Like for a plumber, like anyone would pay any money for a plumber to do their job, but you know, people need to learn to respect artists more and to support artists and their work. I found it really encouraging and motivating. It's been keeping me going. I love inspirational talks because I find sometimes you're just like, ah, you know, like you just don't want to do anything, you're just tired of trying because it just doesn't seem to be working, but I find going to these type of events helps me to kind of keep striving and keep going towards my goal. I met this guy at the TED conference the other day and he asked me what do you want to do and I wasn't quite sure like I know what I enjoy doing I really like I love directing acting and writing I really really love it um, but it's just interesting to think of like what do I really want because my dream is really far-fetched so I'll tell you guys what it is. Um, I would love to one day have my own comedy sitcom, which is really out there and I know a lot of people are like, are you sure Priscilla? Like that kind of sounds like it won't happen, but you know what, that's my goal and if it never happens I'm okay with that. I'm really happy in my life right now, but that's kind of my dream is to have my own show. I'm having for now, um, myself and my friend um, back in Newfoundland, we started a production company called Page by Page and we're doing photography as well as videography and when I was back at home um, I got to film a baby shower um, and I also did my, I filmed my brother's wedding as some of you guys have seen, seen the video that I made 
Um, so I did, you know, and I also made a commercial too for my brother's business. So that was really fun. My friend who, my partner in our production company, she does more of the photography side of things. Hopefully it just kind of keeps growing and whatnot. We're still students right now. But um, she had a photography gig uh, back in Newfoundland a while ago, which was really cool. And she also did the photography for um, the baby shower as well and some other places. Oh, and we also did one for our friend's lawyer convocation. I did the video for it and she did the photography for it. That's kind of where I'm at right now. It's been a crazy busy week, you know, saving a house and all that. Um, but yeah, I'm doing really well and I keep moving my shoulders up and down. This is going to be a really funny video. I kind of like throwing my weirdness out there because that's just who I am. So yeah, deal with it. <laughs> okay, love me or hate me. I'll see you next time in La La Land.